Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you ever look at the refrigerator and wonder what the leftover foods inside are doing? Well, Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast just found out there's only one drop of syrup left, and they both want it. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see them race each other to get the syrup first and see if they can still be best friends. Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast by Josh Funk. Deep in the fridge and behind the green peas, way past the tofu and left of the cheese, up in the corner and back by a roast, sat Lady Pancake beside Sir French Toast. The leftover friends were as close as could be until they heard news from their neighbor, Miss Bree. The syrup is almost completely all gone. A single drop's left, just a drop, she went on. The last drop is mine, Lady Pancake conversed. But French Toast replied, not if I get there first. Like that, he was off and the race had begun with Pancake behind, breaking into a run. Through broccoli forest, past orange juice fountain, they climbed to the top of potato mash mountain. Pushing and shoving, they fought for the lead. Toast behind Pancake, who rolled at high speed. She screeched to a stop at the edge of the shelf, clutching a grapevine to steady herself. Toast didn't notice and couldn't quite stop, plummeting down into jam with a plop. He scraped himself off and yelled up, you're a meanie, as Pancake rappelled down a rope of linguine. She bragged, I'm the best of all breakfast food treats then hurled a lime and skipped over two beats. I am, thought Toast, but his chances looked bleak. So Toast took a shortcut down Sauerkraut Peak. Skiing past spinach and artichoke dip, Toast vaulted high in the air with a flip. Nearing the edge, he tried one final jump, but stumbled and fell way below with a thump. Pancake made use of her seafaring skills and sailed across oceans of soup, causing spills. But Chili Lagoon slathered Pancake in muck. And then at a fork in the road, she got stuck. Way, yelled a chickpea to warn her. But Pancake sped on and got trapped in a corner. Caught behind dressings, one Russian, one ranch, she squeezed out and started a bean avalanche. Toast reemerged in the vegetable crisper sneaking up swiftly, not making a whisper. Beans were now falling from such a great height. Some kidney, some lima, some pinto, some white. Searching for safety from raining legumes, Toast turned to hide, but was blasted by fumes of Brussels sprouts left from an old party platter. So quickly, he climbed up a celery ladder. 
Beside him, a lettuce leaf parachute landed. Pancake flipped out. It is mine, she demanded. Battered and soggy, exhausted and crumbling, too tired to push, they were limping and stumbling. There stood the bottle of syrup at last. But wait, it was empty. They stood quite aghast. Licking his lips with a sneer that was awful, out of the shadows crept Baron Von Waffle. <laughs> I got here first while you boasted and bickered. Why was that syrup delicious? He snickered. With one evil laugh, Waffle slipped out of sight. The syrup was gone. No more reason to fight. Trudging back home beneath layers of grime, Toast said, perhaps we should not fight next time. Agreed, replied Pancake. As friends, we should share. Hey, look, we can split up that butter right there. The end. Bear's wondering, was Toast right to say, perhaps we shouldn't fight? Was Pancake right to say, we should share? Yes, is Bear. <laughs> Do you think that after this race, their friendship is weaker or stronger? Hmm. Well, Bear hopes you come back soon for more adventures in friendship. Bye for now. Please subscribe.